Playing Pokemon with Nuzlocke rules is hard enough, but I wanted to take it a step further. So I asked my good friend Andrew Collette to join me as we try to tackle a two-player hardcore Nuzlocke. Now you might be wondering how this challenge works, so let me explain. We only have one chance to catch a Pokemon per route, but if one person fails to catch their encounter, neither player can catch anything on that route. But if both players successfully catch their encounters, those two Pokemon are linked. If one is sent to the PC, then both are. And if one faints, then both are considered dead, buried, and can never be used again. This is crucial, because any mistake or bad luck will hurt both players, and if either whites out, then the run is over and we have to start all over again. To spice things up even more, our games are randomized so we could catch or battle anything. We also added the hardcore rules of no overleveling and no items in battle because we're just suckers for pain. With all of these crazy rules, could we overcome the Johto region, or would we be crushed? Well, here's how it went. We loaded in, and the first order of business was picking our starters. I got a Charizard, Diglett, and Loudred. Oh my god. Turtwig, Vigoroth, Moltres. What one is your green name? Moltres. That's what we're picking. I'm picking Charizard, you're picking Moltres. We're the fire flying gang. <laughs> the fire flying gang. Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> we're, not, we're not messing around now. So, our Charizard and Moltres were now linked, and this pair was named Maltzard. These were some awesome starters, despite both of us having a crippling weakness to the rock type. We named our rival Jaden, and soon after, we got some Pokeballs and were able to add some new members to the team. Except, well... Uh, I got a Carnivine. I think I can catch that. What'd you get? Ooxie. What? Despite trying, Andrew wasn't able to catch the Uxie, so neither of us got a Pokemon here. And from here, our luck did not improve. A magma, oh my god. This is the epic anime showdown between Charizard and magma. Wait, wait, wait. I have a problem. You have a problem? It's an Abra. Oh. So I just have to throw a Pokeball and hope. <laughs> no, I mean, just, you can't do anything else except for It went away. It went away. Andrew. But surely we would catch the next Pokemon, right? Lay it on me. Big money. Big money, big money, big money. A seal, a seal, sorry. A seal. I got Yanma. All right, so some stuff we can catch. Maybe. I can't attack it, though. That's my problem. If I crit, I crit. No, nope. one HP. Oh, no, I killed Seal. That's all right, Andrew. Don't worry about it. I just caught it. <laughs> just... It burned. No. It got burned by Ember. <laughs> I was just... I thought you were, like, giving up, so I thought, oh, I'll go for another attack. <laughs> and it burned. It got burned. <laughs> oh. And then on the next encounter, the exact same thing happened. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, it's a Dusknaw. I'm actually a little terrified, Keegan. Why would I need you to get? look up this thing's moveset. I got a Rampardos. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're cool. I don't think I can catch a Dusknaw. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think Andrew can catch a Rampardos either. I just got the same luck you got with Seal, too. It just died to a burn. Oh my god, I caught Dusknaw. Are you no, freaking kidding Andrew. me? Andrew, why? Are you serious? Andrew, Dusknaw is so good. I didn't want to kill this thing. It got burned. How did it get burned? I only used it Andrew, once. no. I could have had a Dusknaw. But we finally had a stroke of luck in the Dark Cave, where I caught a Poochiana and Andrew caught Blissey, one of the best Pokemon for a Nuzlocke. And soon after, I caught a Clefable paired with Andrew's Nidoking. Despite the rough start, and missing the next few encounters, our teams were starting to come together. And so, we headed to the gym in search of Badge 1. Andrew's Moltres quickly took care of Faulkner's two Pokemon, with Poochyena taking care of business on my end. Having secured our first badge, we headed south, catching a few Pokemon pairs along the way. With these new Pokemon in our arsenal, we finally had a full team. After spitting in the face of the pitiful Rocket Admin, it was time to tackle the next gym. Now, you may have noticed that we were on our second attempt. That's because in the first run, I got decimated in this gym by a demonic Plusle who ripped me apart. So this time around, I had a score to settle with the second gym leader, Bugsy. But this time, I had a much better team, and Charizard's Dragon Rage did a lot of heavy lifting, giving me a pretty easy win. Andrew was having a little more trouble though. Slowbro is an absolute tank, and Andrew was having plenty of bad luck. Uh, are you in danger over there, Andrew? Like, because I'm chilling over here, but should I be worried? Gosh, stop growling. This Slowbro is just annoying. That's, that's all it is. Yeah, Super Potion. Oh my gosh, this Slowbro is so annoying. Oh my gosh, I have to switch. I just have to. Oh my gosh, Houndoom missed. Dude, Keegan, I'm in trouble here. 
What do you mean? I don't. I can't get anyone to kill this thing. I can't get. Gosh, I don't. I, I don't know what to tell what do you. you. Mean, Andrew? Okay, we got a crit. We got a crit. Kill it's it. finally gone. His team was in rough shape. But luckily, Bugsy's last two Pokemon were grass types, which let Moltres clean them up to secure the win. Oh, that was way too stressful. Holy crap, that's slow, bro. Jeez, Louise. But our problems were only just beginning. Our rival awaited. For me, this was very chill, with Charizard ripping into shreds. But for Andrew, this fight was on another level. My Lodic. Oh, jeez. Don't Remember confuse, please. Crit? Oh my gosh, you're confused. Don't hit yourself, buddy. Oh no, you hit yourself. Oh my gosh, Keegan. We're, we're, we're in the same situation as last time where we got a stupid... What do you mean the same situation? Where we have this water type that walls us. Andrew, Charlotte. Refresh? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm serious? This thing is like, just like the slow bro fight. Okay, so my goal is just to whittle him down and then I think C can do this. I'm over here chilling. You're over there panic station. Don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. Good, good. Oh, my Lilix's gone. Oh, yes. Okay. But with no real way to deal with Jaden's Moltres, a difficult decision had to be made, and our Ekadoom pair was sacrificed for the greater good. This allowed Nido King to safely switch in and just barely take Moltres out. But we weren't out of the woods yet. I'm so stressed here. It's a much choke. Gosh. Oh, man. What the crap? Oh. What am I oh, getting? Man. What am I getting? Andrew's team was in bad shape, and so we made the heartbreaking decision to sacrifice our Clefable and Nido King pair. At least until. All right, then that's what we gotta do. I'm sorry, but we gotta do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, focus energy. It's fine. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the oh. Jesus had blessed us, and our Clef King duo would live to fight another day. But that was way too close, and losing our Ekans Houndoom combo was a big blow. After giving them a fitting burial, we pressed onwards. In the forest, I found a Magnezone, which is an awesome Pokemon. Problem is, it was paired with Andrew's Love Disc, the Pokemon equivalent of a wet fart. This introduced one of the difficulties in this challenge. If I wanted Magnezone in my team, I'd have to make Andrew's team weaker by burdening him with Love Disc. So we would need to plan and compromise to make it through this run. Heading on to Route 34, we got our next encounter. Money, big money, big money. Oh, a Vigoroth. What'd you get? Cresselia. Oh, shoot. We weren't too confident in catching Cresselia, but Andrew kept throwing Pokeballs until... You don't have to keep going if you don't want to. Well, I, I would love to have it. Oh my gosh, I got it. Okay, never mind. No way. I got it, baby. Got it. With our newest deadly pairing, we made our way to Goldenrod Gym in pursuit of the third badge. Whitney is known for being a monster, but the randomizer makes this a very different story. Andrew's Moltres took care of things on his side pretty quickly. I had a really close call though. Hitmontop slapped my Vigoroth with a critical hit triple kick which almost took me out. That could have been tragic, but a switch into Charizard let me wrap things up, earning our third badge. Heading north, we hunted our next encounter and got the worst pair possible. Come on, I got big an money, Onyx. Big, big money, big your Onyx. I got a combi. <laughs> Male. <laughs> That's goaded <laughs> pair. Soon after, we had our next encounter, and I was stoked to find a Snorlax. Andrew, on the other hand, found Yuxi. Again. Great ball, great ball, great ball. Shake, shake, shake. Andrew, I've caught the Snorlax. Please, please, Andrew. <sighs> I don't ask much. I don't ask much. I, there, I I can't get this thing down. I can't. Isn't this my third Uxie encounter? You I can't ever go into a battle like this without Blissey again. I'm not catching this thing, man. No, I, I really, I really believe in you though. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Having a Snorlax and Uxie pair would have been a game changer. So I encouraged Andrew to take a big risk. I could risk a Blissey switch in to soft boil. That's probably the best shot, but we'd had we'd be risking Blissey. Ah, uh, do it, do it. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, I'm just gonna go for the Blissey. I'm going for it. I believe in you, Andrew. It used confusion. You gotta be freaking kidding me. It did 10 damage. Oh my gosh. So wait, do you have 11 We can left? actually live one if it's not a crit. It did confusion again. Oh, we're at one HP. What the heck? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> All right, we're okay now. But despite our best efforts, Yuxi just wouldn't stay in the damn ball and ultimately died to struggle. 
So we lost out on a great pair, and then another one when I accidentally killed Doduo. Our rival Jaden then squared up for a rematch, but things went much smoother this time around. In the burn tower, we finally got a new pair. Skip Loom for me, and Frostlass for Andrew. We then headed into the fourth gym, where I was faced with the Reaper itself. Why not? I couldn't switch out due to its Shadow Tag ability, and I was locked into the move Headbutt by my choice band. All I could do was hope. They had to do with the merch. Oh, hey, why not? Oh my god, no, Andrew. Oh no. What happened? Crescent Roth is dead. What? <gasps> Crescent Roth is dead. Did you just get countered? Oh my gosh, I'm seeing it right now. Losing Vigoroth was bad enough, but also losing one of Andrew's best Pokemon, Cresselia, along with it was a huge blow. But with that, we were ready to tackle the fourth gym leader, Morty. Andrew managed to get through this one without too much trouble, but for me, this fight was a little dicey. Charizard cleaned up the first two Pokemon, before Skiploom was able to set up a Leech Seed onto Bronzong, helping me to stall it out. But Morty's last Pokemon put the fear of God in me. Oh, his last Pokemon is Latios. Oh my goodness. After weighing up my options, I decided the best course of action was cheese. First, I set up Leech Seed with Skiploom to guarantee damage over time. Then, by switching into Clefable and spamming Minimize to boost my evasion, I wore Latios down until one last headbutt sealed the deal. Since we now had Fishing Rods, we decided to cast a line in Ecritique City. Reel them in, boys. What do we got? Ecritique Encounter. Oh, Raikou! Oh my god. Right, fastball in the red. Give it to me. Give it to me. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. Wiggle. No, nope, just one wiggle. Oh my god. I, let's chat. I will sink every ball I have. Oh my god. No. Nope. You guys ever seen a Raikou hanging out in the water in a pond? Oh, it roared, Andrew. It roared. I didn't even know it had roar. So we lost yet another encounter. And then another one. So I got Lugia. Oh, well, I just killed Nuzleaf with a crit. I was gonna get Lugia. Are you serious? It all worked out. Although we did manage to grab our next encounter, Swalot and Pichu. But if things weren't bad enough, they were about to get worse. In the Lake of Rage, we set out to confront the shiny Gyarados, which in this run is randomized. Andrew found a shiny Surskit, and I found a... Despite this being a pretty garbage pair, I still wanted to catch the shiny, maybe even too much. Well, oh my god, X scissor. If I name it, it's okay. Oh Cricket no! Kit. Cliff King is dead. What? That's my Nidoking. King. I wanted the shiny Andrew. I wanted it so bad. So that was bad, but then it got worse. It sparkles, Andrew. Oh my god! Wait, why did I send out Mighty Ena? What am I doing? Chat, I'm throwing. Don't give oh her my, my blessing. Oh my god, Mighty Ena about to die. Don't oh my you. god! What have I done? Did, did Mighty Ena just die? Don't what tell have me. I done, Andrew? I'm so sorry. What are you doing? Oh my, we just lost Blissey. I gotta kill the Cricketoon. I gotta kill it. Get out of my life, Cricketoon. Get out, go. Leave, leave. I was blinded by the sparkles and lost two great Pokemon in the process. To make matters worse, Andrew lost his Blissey and Nidoking as a result. Needless to say, I felt very guilty about letting Andrew down like that. For now, we had to give the Fallen a fitting burial. With some spots opened up on the team, we had to rebuild. After some negotiation and drafting, this is the team that we decided on. After failing another encounter, we did finally manage to catch something. Dragonair and Hitmontop. After making our way to Cyanwood, we were ready to take on the fifth gym. The gym leader, Chuck, only has two Pokemon, so Charizard was able to slap him around on my end. Andrew's side of things were a little tougher though. Chuck's ace was a Raikou, but Andrew had a trick up his sleeve, Lantern. Lantern's Volt Absorb ability is a hard counter to Raikou's electric attacks, so Andrew was able to drown it with a few Surfs. That's badge 5. Since we now had access to Surf and Fly, we decided to backtrack and pick up some of the encounters that we missed. Most of my encounters here were pretty average, but Andrew's was much luckier. This guy pulled a Dragonite and a Swellow, which I was very jealous of. After storming the Team Rocket base and slapping some grunts around, we grabbed our next encounter, the pair of Golbat and Roselia. But then... Oh shoot, it's got self-destruct. Oh my gosh, it did bring me down to 20 HP, a little too close. <laughs> With that taken care of, we now had two gym fights back to back. First up is Price. Andrew cruised through this fight without breaking a sweat, but I had way more trouble. 
His Tyrogue went down easily, and I was able to slowly chip away at Gliscor with Magnezone, until Charizard then finished it off. Price's Bronzong is where things get tricky though. It hit me with Block, which means I can't switch out, and with Charizard at low HP, things were looking grim. Okay, don't have a rock move. I can't, I can't switch. I can't switch. Extra sensory. Just hang in there, Charizard. Hang in there. Oh my god. Oh, he's healing. He's healed. Oh. Andrew, I may lose Charizard here. Oh man. What do I do? I think I need to go for Ember and go for the crit. Don't kill me. Oh, we got the crit! <laughs> oh, no way! What? Heart of the cards, baby. <laughs> that was absolutely clutch and saved our beloved starter pair. We then headed straight to Olivine City to challenge the penultimate gym leader, Jasmine. All right. Jasmine leads with a cricket tune. Oh my god, you disgusting Oh my gosh, bug. it's time for revenge. How dare you? Get out of my sight. Get out of here. From here, Rapidash was just able to sweep, and Andrew had to negotiate three Fire-type starters, giving us a smooth seventh badge. But little did we know, our smooth sailing was about to get very, very rough. After collecting our sus imposter rocket outfits, we stormed the radio tower, butchering a stack of grunts along the way. But then, we encountered Executive Petrol. Petrol has six Pokemon, giving the randomizer plenty of room to screw us. And oh boy, did it. I was cruising through the first few Pokemon, but Andrew had a much bigger challenge. Dude, all my grunts have freaking Giratinas, dude. Oh my gosh, all right. Very annoying. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I just lost someone. Oh, what do you mean, no. Andrew? No! What do you mean? Andrew, talk to me. It was a high roll. Oh, freak. What happened? I got owned by this freaking... It's got Shadow Sneak. It's got moves that are super effective against everyone on my team. He's got he's got Dragon Claw for my Dragonite, Shadow Sneak for my Frost Slash, Ancient Power for my Moltres. Is it just that one Giratina? Like, how many have you got left? Because this guy has six Pokemon. Uh, it's his first Pokemon. Oh, Andrew, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, my tank is gone, man. Tyranitar? Oh my gosh. Sandstorm? Oh no. No, let's let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this, Andrew. Let's not get crazy. Let's not do what I did with Mighty Anna. We have to go. Oh my gosh, Rock Slide. Oh, I think we just lost Rapidash and Dragonite because the Sandstorm. What do you mean? What do you mean, Andrew? Oh no, we didn't. It's at one HP. Oh, this is bad, dude. I have to stay in. It was looking grim, and then things got even worse. And I really only have three. Oh my god, I've his last Pokemon Pikachu. for me is a Wobbuffet. There's a chance we don't. Because I get Counter? Sandstorm hit every turn. Oh my god, that hits so hard, man. All right, now I Dragon Rage, and it's going to go for Counter again. Now it's Mirror Coating. Oh my god, Charizard's dead. I knew that Andrew's Dragonite was on the ropes, so I sent out Rapidash to face the demonic Wobbuffet. Have to win. Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel, this should kill Wobbuffet. Choice Band Flame Wheel. Okay, oh my I god, pretty much have two yeah. Pokemon left. Rapidash is dead, Andrew. Okay, that's okay, it's okay. So my Rapidash is dead too. Rapidash is dead. On the next turn, I was able to finish Wobbuffet, but Andrew was still far from being out of the woods. Yo, love this so time, love this time. Okay. Yo, Andrew, are we entering the love zone? <laughs> Oh, it still doesn't oh. take out Macargo. You suck, Love Disc. Oh my gosh, Ow, this Pokemon whoa, whoa, whoa. sucks. Don't be mean to Love Zone. So the problem I'm having, Michael, is we, we just have linked poke. Oh my gosh, Lapras. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh my goodness. It's a freaking Lapras. I have nothing that can counter this Lapras. Chat, half of my team is dead. Rapidash is dead, Maltzard is dead, and Maskachow is dead. Dude, I might wipe. I don't know how to get out of this. I think I need to switch to Pichu. Because Love Disc could be used later. So we're going to say bye to Pichu. Perish Song. That's, That's good. great. That's really good. Why is your Pichu so low leveled, Andrew? No. Because oh, I yeah. wanted it to get Thunderbolt. I wanted it to get... Oh. I should have just... Water Pulse were dead. Yeah. Andrew's streaming at the Andrew Show Live on YouTube. Perish Song again? I'll take it. I'll take it. I guess I'll go for Water Pulse in case they switch. Yup, they switched. That's not good. What'd they bring out though? Hariyama. After some pivoting, we finally found an opening. Stop Got putting Fs in me. chat. We're living, goddammit. Yup, it withdrew. Hariyama, perfect. You think it's just going to switch back into Lapras? It could, but it's not for sure. You may not want to go for Fly. If you can do 20% damage on the switch, then hit it for Fly, you'll take it down without taking any more damage. True. You may be able to take it down without taking a hit if he switches this turn. Here's the thing is if I fly right now, though, I can get an immediate hit off while well, they're going to go for Perish Song. But if I do Ancient Power now, then I fly, then they do Perish Song. I'll Ancient Power it then. They don't switch. 
They don't switch. Why oh, not? Oh, but I got the extra power boost. Yes. <laughs> With that Omni boost, the tide had turned in our favor. Yo, I'm flying all day here now. All day here. Oh my Leave. goodness. <laughs> Omni boost. Omni boost. Oh my gosh, dude, my heart. <laughs> Lay the smack down on him, Andrew. Give him the business. I wonder if I should even ancient power this thing if I got... It's close to fly damage, and we just got a boost. All right, yeah, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Hit him with it. Give him the business. Yeah, man, Give it took to it him, out. Andrew. Arcanine. Yo, we take this. I'm so fine with this. Just ancient power, right? Huh? Dude, all I have left are freaking Love Disc and Pichu in the back. Well, this is, <laughs> but this is Moltres' swan song, because Moltres is dead. I know, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just saying, like, that's all. I can't believe I got out of it. Oh, my God, chat. We made it. Dude. We just scraped by, but we were definitely not unscathed as our team had been decimated. We had to rebuild an almost entirely new roster, but after some discussion, this was the best team that we could come up with. So after licking our wounds and teaching some moves, we headed into the basement where our rival Jaden was waiting. That was bad, that could have been deadly. Ice Fang, that's fine. Sonic Boom, that's fine, there it goes. Oh my God, how is it still alive? Oh my God, Love Zone's dead. A mud, a mud bomb crit, Andrew. It lived on one HP. The rest of the fight was relatively clean on both sides, but losing Magnazone was a huge loss to my already dwindling team. We cleaned up the rest of Team Rocket in pretty quick fashion, clearing our path to chase down the final badge. On the way, we had a few encounters which we really needed after the heavy losses that we'd suffered. Armaldo. I got an Articuno. <laughs> Dang, dude. Okay. Um, I weakened and paralyzed the Articuno. All I could do was throw Pokeballs, but it broke free time and time and time again until... Oh, two shakes, man. I think we've got two left, chat. Oh, man, I'm so bummed out. I really wanted this encounter. I have one Pokeball left. Heart of the cards moment. I've sunk 50 balls into this. I've sunk all my balls into this Articuno. I'm balls deep into this Articuno. I've got one left. Heart of the cards moment. Heart of the cards. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It's quick and free, but it really does help me out. So I ran out of Pokeballs and begrudgingly ran away from the blue chicken. But to make up for it, soon after, I caught Aerodactyl paired with Andrew's Marrow. This Marrow has the huge power ability, which makes this a really solid pair. After traversing the ice path, we had a few extra encounters, but admittedly, these were hot garbage. And so we were ready to storm the 8th gym and claim the final badge. On my side of things, Claire led with an Onyx, which was free real estate for my Tangrowth to set up on. A few growths and a Mega Drain took care of it, with Ancient Power cleaning up the Skaroopy that followed. Crobat executed Flareon, and a Surf from Dragonair sealed the win. Things were a little more complicated on Andrew's end. He'd cruised through the first few Pokemon, but things were looking dire when Claire sent out her final Pokemon. Tentacruel. I think that's doable. It's definitely not a free fight at all. Poison jab. Oh my gosh, did it just get the crit? It didn't. It's a crap. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned too. Okay, let's switch in him on top. I think he's only got... I feel like he would go for poison jab again, so let's do it. I think we got to go for what we can. Oh, clear body. Oh, I forgot about clear body. Shoot. Keegan, I think I got to make a sacrifice somewhere here. What is What moves have you got on uh, Nido Queen? Not a ground move, if that's what you're asking about. I honestly, I think risk go for the Kenya risk. Okay, so you want Kenya to be the free switch. Okay. Water pulse. Shoot. Yeah. How much is this going to do, though? Oh, you know, that's pretty good. If for some reason Kenya dies, I'm confident we could take it out with anything else. So, but no, I think Kadabra could one shot it from here. Kadabra won't live a crit, though. So we have to. No, no, wait, you're confused, wait. Oh. Bam, that's death. <laughs> and there's the crit anyway, so even if you hit the, like, yeah. Cool. It do be you know, like it that. sucked, but like, all things considered, it was, it was not bad. With that, we'd claimed the final badge. Another good pair was lost in the process, but honestly, I was happy with how we worked together to safely dig ourselves out of that situation. In the Dragon's Den, we faced a trial that can be summarized as, do you absolutely hate Pokemon with every fiber of your being? Uh, not really? Very well, you passed. Here, have a Pokemon. And I've got to say, the old man definitely delivered because he gave me a Milotic and Andrew a Swinub. After grabbing an encounter from the Whirl Islands, we headed back to Ecrotique and quickly asserted our dominance over the Kimono Girls before climbing the Bell Tower. 
It's here that we're faced with the famous, elusive, legendary Pokemon, Sceptile. With that, we were now bound for the Elite Four, but we did have some notable encounters along the way. All right, here's my encounter, Tojo Falls. Lay it on me. Oh, Dialga, Andrew, please. It's a Bronzor. This pair massively improved our team and our luck continued on the very next route where we also added the pair of Spiritomb and Ivysaur. Once inside Victory Road, I stumbled across a Reggie Steel, but since I already had a good Steel type in Dialga, we decided not to take the risk in catching it. And then, just before we could exit Victory Road, one trainer stood in our way, Jaden. Honestly, by this point in the run, we'd built up a pretty solid roster. Jaden had some good Pokemon, but not enough to really be threatening. We'd lost a ton of Pokemon throughout this run, but we'd finally made it. The last hurdle of our challenge, the Pokemon League. After some deliberation and preparation, these are the pairs that we decided to bring. And so it was time. Dude, I'm nervous. If we lose any one of these first few battles, I feel like it may be hard to claw our way back. Um, I'm going in, Andrew. Okay, I'm going in. We're going swell on our end. My plan was to lead with Tangrowth and set up Toxic Spikes, which would accrue big damage over the course of the battle. The first Elite Four member, Will, led with Probo Pass, and I begun executing my strategy. But then, a problem. Probo Pass used Block, which prevents me from switching Tangrowth out. To make matters worse, I was paralyzed by Thunder Wave and being hit by Rock Slide, which has a chance to make me flinch. What followed was one of the most ridiculous pieces of RNG that I have ever witnessed. The problem I have is that it's a, a Probo Pass um, and it used Block on Tangrowth and I'm also paralyzed. I can't me like I, I can't really Mega Drain because it just keeps hitting me with Rock Slide and like I may just end up losing Tangrowth in the first battle because I'm, I'm just paralyzed and I'm flinching and oh my god, Andrew, it's been five turns in a row. I'm paralyzed or flinched and I can't switch. Like, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, chat, six turns in a row. Let me do something. I'm probably, I'm going to lose someone to the first Pokemon in the first member of the Elite Four. Para flinch strats. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Oh, I can't do anything though, Andrew. It's so nutty. Yeah, um, these are the, like, Tangrowth is dead. First Pokemon of the first Elite Four. I'm para flinched. I'm para flinched to the moon. Oh my god, chat. I had the worst start imaginable, losing a pair to the first Pokemon of the first Elite Four member. Fortunately, Milo Tick was able to gradually wear down the remainder of Will's team with its huge bulk and some rain boosted surfs. I was pretty frustrated on my end, but the vibes were a little different for Andrew. Despite the bad luck, we'd made it through the first battle, and from here, our luck did improve. Koga's team was pretty diverse, but my big, bulky Milotic was able to get the job done once again, and some smart switches by Andrew meant we had made it through unscathed. Now, Bruno is known for being a bit of a pushover, and that was still the case in this randomizer. Andrew and I were cruising through this fight, until Bruno sent out my worst nightmare. Pikachu, oh my god, he's back, Andrew. He's back, he's looking for blood. This one's for Clefable and Mighty Anna, everyone. That's a dead Cricketune. Get out of here. With Bruno and his deadly Cricketune slaughtered, we stepped up to face the final Elite Four member, Karen. She wants to speak to the manager, but Andrew and I had other plans. Dialga was able to decimate her for me, and a bulk up set up from Andrew with Azumarill gave him a pretty clean sweep. It was all down to this. One final battle against Lance to claim the title of champions. I'm feeling good, Keegan. You feeling good? I'm feeling all right. Oh, I'm feeling good. Are you going in, Andrew? Because I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready Let's man. go. Let's go. Andrew was up first, and his burned Swellow went absolutely insane. The attack boost from its guts ability allowed Swellow to quickly sweep through the first four Pokemon of Bug Catcher Lance's team. Bronzong was able to clean up Nidoran with an extra sensory, and after landing a Perish Song onto Dragonair, Andrew's victory was all but guaranteed. On my side of things, however, Dialga was paralyzed by Discharge on turn one and unable to move for the next two turns. Now, Sweet Kiss. Oh my god, I hate this thing. Just kill it. Just kill it. Please, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Eventually, I landed an Earth Power to finally take Pachirisu down. Against Houndoom, a switch into my bulky Milotic allowed me to set up Rain before picking up quick KOs on Houndoom, as well as the EV that followed. Lance then sent out his Tangela, who kept using Tickle and Slam, which is a very sus moveset for a Pokemon that looks like that. 
a flash cannon sent it packing before Lance finally lived up to his title and sent out a dragon Pokemon. I can dragon claw it all day long, baby. Oh, paralyzed? Oh my god. Come on, stop being paralyzed. You can do it, Dialga. You can walk again. Okay, so it's asleep, so I'm gonna bring Aerodactyl in. Oh, he switched. He switched. We'll go Milotic, we'll go Milotic. Oh, Amnesia. Oh my God, chat. I lost, I lost my car. Can anyone tell me where did my car go? Milotic drowned that lava slug before Lance was down to his final Pokemon. Lose kill. There it is. Woo! Yeah, baby! Check out this playlist for more Pokemon Nuzlocke challenges. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.